Magic 200. <laughs> What's up, my fellow Red Eyes? It's your host, Sauce Boss, with co-host... Sarcastic. What's up? And we're starting a new little playlist here. It's called uh, Session Share. It's like a fucking tongue twister there. But okay. anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you for already being interested in other shit that we do. Uh, so, bruh, let's, let's just talk about the Cannabis Cup. Have you ever been to a Cannabis Cup or, like, any type of weed festival? Never. Never. Like, literally... All it was for me was just getting high in a fucking parking lot. <laughs> I never went to any festival. I really never really talked to anybody about weed. I just had my homies that I smoked weed with. It was very close, click, close click. I feel you. Well, it was just so back in the day, not as mainstream now. Yeah. Yeah. I want to bring it back. I, want to, I think I believe that marijuana needs to be mainstream. Well, nowadays pretty much is it really it really is to be a, like you're really like, able to get weed so fast and talk about it the only thing that really holds you back is drug tests that's that's my that's my biggest thing and I don't think they should be able to drug test anymore because drug tests they don't test like if you're do they test if you're high in the moment no they just test to see if you they test to see if you in your system for the last week right yeah. for the last for the last they, I'm pretty much I've heard them say that they put out a test that can measure within the last week well, I think that's the mouth swab. Yeah, that's the mouth swab ones, yeah. right? So, I, and if marijuana's legal in the fucking area, if marijuana's legal in the state, they shouldn't be fucking doing it. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it gets fixed. Because it's stupid, man. I just want to smoke weed and be free and not be limited on my capabilities at a job because I smoke weed on my off time. But Straight up. I could go be coked out or do, like, drink a whole bunch of beer and take shots and <laughs> as long as I come in the next day and they won't and they're not gonna say shit and they won't tell you shit you know what I mean they won't tell you like oh shit you got drunk you know what I mean I always I always have people say you get high I that's get my high thing all the time yeah that's uh, that's my I, thing when I meet people maybe it's just a clique that I hang around with usually but <laughs> like when I first met you I think one of the first not one of the first things I asked you but when we first started like like kind of hanging out and get to know each other you smoke? Yeah, I smoke. Fuck yeah, I smoke. Because if not, <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool, and probably not want to hang out. Not we wouldn't hang out. out with you, but it's just We like, probably wouldn't have hung out. There's just no comment <laughs> there besides, like, video games. But other than that, like, I think, man, this guy doesn't smoke. I'm not going to want him to come to my house because I smoke a lot. And if he doesn't like to smoke, then he might judge me and not want to hang out with me anyway. So, fuck you. <laughs> but luckily, you smoke. <laughs> oh, my God. So, we went so far off topic. But anyways, <laughs> go back to festivals and cannabis cups. <coughs> Tangent. <laughs> Tangent. <laughs> Standard pass. That's what happens. You start getting all crazy, and then you move on to something funny, and then you realize, ah, shit, I went completely in a different direction. Completely off top. <laughs> See, I remember I didn't start smoking until I was like 16, like right before my senior year. And then after that, I was like, oh, fucking smoking's fucking awesome. But I could only smoke my senior year because I ended up going to the military right after. So I had to give up weed. I'd still smoke here and there, but I had to be very careful because of the drug test. How old were you when you joined the military? I graduated at 17 and joined... And joined I, I joined when I was uh, probably just turning 17 or right before 17 because I joined in the beginning of my junior, uh, my senior year. Gotcha. But I, when I graduated boot camp and officially became a Marine, it was my 18th birthday. <laughs> so I got to like finally be free from everything, like the boot camp, my yeah. parents, yeah. laws. Well, no, not really laws. Not really laws. And you, can't, and you can't have a fucking beer. Yeah. You can carry a gun for your country, but you can't have a fucking beer. No, no beer yeah. <laughs> and I used to drink a fucking lot, dude, back in my fucking high school days. Well, shit. Everybody dude, did. Oh, my God. And then military. To have a, to have a good time. Fuck. <laughs> we just drank so much. But anyway, so when I got out of the military... I was like, I'm going to smoke again. Started smoking a lot more, and then I learned about dabs. And then once I learned about dabs, and I got really, really more into weed again, like more than like it became a passion at that point, I started going to the cannabis cups. Like, because I lived in California, uh-huh. and I lived in like the Anaheim area. Okay. Yeah, my, my, I have lady, my lady has family over there. Disneyland, man. Everyone knows that spot. Mm-hmm. But uh, the cannabis cup and festivals, they were always in San Bernardino so for us that was like less than a two hour drive mm-hmm. so we'd go me and Crystal and some friends we'd go and just fucking party all day and the best part of like those events is 
everyone's high as fuck. Yeah. You go to different booths, because it's like a really badass swap meet, flea micro, whatever. They, they try to sell you all their products. Like their beads and their necklaces. <laughs> well, dude, no. Some people make, like, really cool... Well, like, I know, like, like metal really sculptures and stuff, like that. Yeah, but yeah. weed-related things. Or they <laughs> use weed. or Like, it's crazy the things you see. But then you have, like, the people who make the... The different like rosin pressing machines to make wax and all that stuff, yeah, and they'll years. they'll they'll be there, and so and you can see their product, and they try to sell. It's like a, like I said, like an expo for weed. Mm-hmm. But most of the the like booths that sold weed that had like a weed brand, they would let you take a free dab. So like, whoo! My very first time, I was like a kid in the candy store. Went to a booth. Do you want a free dab? Oh, of course, I'll take a free dab. Dude, and I just barely really started dabbing at that point. They just like glob. Here you go. So yeah, I had my first dab. I was like, "Ooh!" Went to the next booth. Oh, okay. I'll take one. <laughs> so like, I think after that one or the third one, we had to take a break. We we're all fucked up because we're used to like little baby little yeah, little little chips. But they're just like, dabs. try it, dude. Try it. <sighs> but dude, it was amazing. Like we did so much stuff there. One of my favorite things we always try to get was uh, they had the taco truck because they had food trucks there, and you could either get it medicated or non medicated. Dope. So we would get uh, the tacos, like you know the street tacos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would cook it right there in front of you. Fuck yeah. They would put medicated salsa on it if you want. Like what kind of salsa was it? They had the the green and the red. They had both. Dude, and they had it in those, like, uh, those ketchup bottles. Yeah, and it, was, it was medicated? Yeah, because they, they put, like, probably that fucking uh, like syrup. The same, yeah, like the syrup. They probably just make it fucking edible. Fucking dope. And then the syrup, we always had uh, the, the, another truck sold uh, lemonade. Lemonade, pink lemonade, strawberry lemonade. But they'd have, like, syrup. And it, <laughs> half the cup was just goopy fucking TAC syrup. But dude. dude. We were so fucking high that it just kept our high going the whole fucking time. So it didn't get to a point really after we got used to it. We weren't never, yeah, we weren't crashing and we never really got too far into the point where we're like, oh, I gotta take a break. Because we got used to it. Like, we would take breaks to sit down and kind of like mellow mellow out. But it didn't like make us want to go to sleep and go home. (laughs) I usually crash. I usually crash quick after I smoke a little bit of weed. One thing about weed, I can I I can choose not to, but I can. <laughs> the only thing that really, when it comes to weed, that gets me crashing, and most of the time, like I don't, is edibles. Edibles are the ones that make my body super heavy and slump, and I'm just like, oh god, I just want to go to sleep, but I need to stay up because, uh, I just like being high. I like I like that euphoric feeling of not like. Being so numb and jello I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with edibles. <laughs> I, I don't do it too much. Today was like the first time I had that fucking, uh, I bought that drips, that's what they call it, the syrup, fucking that you mix mm. with Sprite or whatever, like, the THC lean. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> My lady actually fucking made some real lean <laughs> without realizing. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I, I saw her, like, she, she had her, she had, she, this was back when she had a cold. It wasn't COVID. No it, was just, it was just a sore throat <laughs> and um, it was uh, she had her Sprite bottle she took a little sip right and then she poured the fucking NyQuil in there you know what I mean <laughs> NyQuil in there and I'm looking at her I'm doing dishes and I'm looking at her <laughs> and I'm noticing that she's suffering she's, her nose is all red yeah. and I'm like I'm like you know you're making lean right <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't do whatever made her feel better at the time. And she and she, and she took a break and she's like, I am making leave. <laughs> How blaring is that? Because she didn't want that taste of the NyQuil. Yeah, I know. NyQuil sucks. I hate it. Well, that's why I don't like anything that's artificially flavored grape. Because they all taste like, like artificial grape. I can't do artificial orange. Yeah, fuck orange and grape. Those are the worst. Oh my god, who makes artificial? It's horrible. It's disgusting. Ugh, grapes are like good like, for like... Grapes. Medicine is supposed to be disgusting. It's juice. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I really don't like too much the regular flavored bubble gum. Because that's because of fucking medicine. It made me regret it. Because it tastes like bubble gum, but it was still so thick and slimy and chalky at the same time. Like, medicine is just horrible. 
That's why I don't like any of those players. Fucking your medicine. <laughs> Fucking medicine. <laughs> but yeah, man, dude. Those cannabis cups and high time festival, dude, they're amazing. Like, my brother-in-law and his friends, I don't know if you know the band, um, fucking, I just fucking lost their name, it's these two dudes, oh my god, I'm gonna have to look at my phone, but they met them there, they ran into them there at the Cannabis Cup, like, they were just going around the booth and they ran into them, fuck, what are their names? Dude. Simon and Garfunkel? No, 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 they're really- Mumford and Sons? No, 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 no. fuck, fuck. Oh, shit, shit. All right, the name, it's uh, Flatbush Zombies. Flatbush know. Zombies? Yeah, dude, they're fucking awesome. They're, they're one of those, uh, they rap, but they're fucking, one dude's really loud. He has that really loud, deep fucking voice, and it's fucking dope the way he, he goes at it. He's like a cooler version of Takashi 6 9 the way he yells. All right. A cooler like version. <laughs> no, I like Takashi 6 9 I do, I do a little bit, too. I like some People of hate me for that because, you know, he's a weirdo. and he's, he's a but, fucking snitch. Well, also, he's, he's a little pedo, but they literally ain't like, <laughs> You're leaving that part out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But, yeah. We, we saw, not only did, like, you know, my, my brother-in-law and his friends, you know, they ran into artists like that, but you could see a lot of, like, other somewhat celebrities like youtube celebrities out uh-huh. there that they're all about fucking weed and then you could sometimes run into like cheech and chong because they have a booth there. sometimes they're there they, they have a booth where they you know the little where you put a quarter in the candy machine yeah they have them with their weed <laughs> but, <laughs> their little nugs <laughs> yeah and it comes in those little fucking capsules yeah like, oh, yes <laughs> but the only problem yeah. is after like the first like half of the very first day if you're not there to get it they're either all gone or the machines are all broken because they fucking yeah they, they all they get all cranked out have. yeah so I've never really got a chance to get any but it was cool <laughs> nice but we'd go to just different little sections because every different section they have like stages where people are performing and most of the time because it's a fucking men's world those girls twerking on stage and wearing skin because that's how they get all the dudes <laughs> that's how they the get stage. their attention like, yeah. hey this is our brand blah 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 we're playing you know they got DJ playing girls twerking and shit I think one, they had a competition a uh, twerking competition Ow. <laughs> yeah so they brought girls from the fan, like in the in the fans to come and see if they want to try to win money shit <laughs> and like one girl she, she ended up, well she, she's the one who won but dude she was going super sick. It was like watching a fucking softcore porn the way she was grinding on that floor and everything. But they did. But besides that... I bet her man was pissed. <laughs> if she had one. If she she had probably one. went back with all those things. <coughs> but besides all that funny stuff, like, yeah, it's still cool because I'm a guy. But the most thing that I loved about it was when they'd give away shit. They would, like, little... They'd, Hey, come here, we're giving away this. Like, they're, you know, trying to get you, like, all pumped and, like, you know, chant this brand or say you can follow us, blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. then they, they start throwing, like, dude. T shirts and shit like that. My first time I've caught, no lie, over nine t shirts, some of them same t shirts, four or five different hats, over 15 pre roll joints from. Whew. I can't remember the brand. Dude. Dude, they're fucking dank in all different strains. Fuck. Um, I got like two or three capsules of the fucking nug. Some like a bunch of random small little chocolate edibles. But I don't like. I don't really care for those. Those taste weird. And like, I think I got two grams of wax. Nice. They do because they just chucked out fucking go, packets. Yeah. <laughs> I always try to get in the very front to get all this shit. Nice. Very nice. They're still. Are they still doing those? Not right now. They're supposed to have one here in Colorado, the 420 Fest with Chris Webby performing. And I'm pretty that's sure... That's what that was? Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Because I've never been to that one, but that's supposed to be like a really good fucking be- festival out here. And he was going to be able to perform. That's in Denver. So... So the next opportunity, they, they do it. When they when they try and launch it again. Well, I'm hoping that because they're, they're supposed go. to do that for 420, but then it got pushed. They're going to do it at the Black Sheep in July this month like the 7th or the 10th but that all got cancelled because of COVID because <laughs> of COVID still and you know I would have dude it's Echo would have been there yeah we would have been there dude we would have been able to see Chris Webby and Echo and I've seen them both together dude their shows are fucking amazing like their shows revolve around the fam they don't sit there like we're famous so uh, you wait like 20 minutes and we'll have some random DJ or some random artist just come and be fucking annoying yeah. and then oh here comes this person and then we're waiting like 20 fucking minutes. Are you coming? Yeah, he's coming. 
Like, they don't do that. They just instantly, all right, this person's out. They come out doing their thing. They'll jump in with the fans and be, like, really close. And, like, one dude, the locksmith, he, he scared the shit out of me. Really cool dude. Really good song. But he scared me because he jumped on the stage and he had that, like, in, intimidated look. And he's walking up to people. He's, like, right in your face, like, and it, dude, like, it's cool, but it scared the shit out of me because I was fucking high. He, Man, he went up to you and he was doing it to you? To me and other people. Like, that's just his thing. Like, it's just cool as fuck, but, dude, <laughs> seeing that, like, being high and, like, already getting up and seeing other artists. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Yeah, oh, man. I mean, it, <laughs> that's why I would love to see Chris Webb and Echo because they get into the fans. They keep going. They don't make you wait five minutes to, to see the next person. They're really cool, and they're, they're all friends in a sense. So, like, you're, they're not really seeing, like, a concert. You're there fucking with a party. It's fucking cool. But that's what I liked about going to Cannabis Cups because that's how the, the fucking vibe was for the most part. Everyone's friendly, and we're all getting high and having a good time. The one thing that pissed me off, because we'd seen, like, so many different artists perform, perform there towards the end of the night. They always have people performing all day, but they usually have the bigger artists at night. Like, I remember one, we're leaving early on a Sunday. It was like 5 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. And Waka Flocka Flame was playing. <laughs> I could hear him, Waka! You know, like the whole like, you know, from one of the stages. It's like, oh, cool, that's Waka. So like I say, I've heard him once. But uh, we were excited because Lil Wayne was coming to perform. Lil Wayne. And I didn't listen too much back in the day to Lil Wayne. Like, I obviously, like, his his main pop shit. Yeah. Um... I've heard all those, but I was pretty cool and excited to, oh, I get to see Little Wayne live, I don't have to pay for all that, really, and first, they had us in a really small auditorium, and it was still summer in California, and it's always fucking hot in the desert. Yeah, fuck yeah, it is, so, I hated that shit. Dude, they are fucking torching us, so we're stuck in there, and we're, he's the headline, so we have to wait till he gets on, we're waiting fucking forever. We're all dehydrated and fucking stoned out of our mind and probably, like, already tired from waiting. So after a million of years, he comes out, and I swear, more than half the crowd was fucking, yeah, yeah, like, happy to see him knowing his songs. And, I, dude, I was jumping, like, I don't know the songs, but, like, Crystal was jumping, singing, but we're all having a good time. But we're all high and tired. He quit. Like, well, first, in the middle of the song, he's like, I'm never fucking doing this shit again. Don't, don't ever invite me here to tell the DJ this, because he's mad that not everyone is singing his songs and yeah. going all crazy. But besides all that stuff about us being tired and all that, half the people there don't know who he is because a lot of them are older people that fucking grew up in the 60s smoking weed, and they're coming to this event, and they go to see new shows. But uh, I guess the energy wasn't there for Lil Wayne, so he said, fuck you old people, and everyone else, I'm fucking out, dropped his mic, and he was done, and, uh... Well, fuck that much, guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck I like your guy. music, but fuck you for being an asshole. We're I all know. stoners, enjoying our time. Just trying just, to have a good time here. He said, fuck your vibe, And you gotta baby. be an emotional little baby about it. <laughs> but, yeah, we, that's how we ended our cannabis cup. It was really good, but, yeah, Wayne had to say fuck you, so fuck you. All right. Thank you guys for listening. New series. Try and catch us every Saturday. Peace. Peace.